What happened to telco companies when we broke them up? We unleashed unbelievable shareholder value and productivity. What is a better economy, Stuart? Amazon, Apple, Facebook, and Google? Or Amazon, AWS, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Google, YouTube, Apple, iTunes. Where's more jobs, more tax base, more billionaires? I personally think the way you stave off regulation is to bust trust. I think it's the antidote and the vaccine to regulation. I, I, I would argue it's time to break these guys up. Mm -hmm. I think that they have become too powerful and that markets are failing. We don't break these guys up because they're evil. That's bullshit. They're no less or more evil than us. We don't break them up because they avoid taxes. We need to hold all companies accountable. That's our own fault. We don't break them up because they destroy jobs. We need innovators to destroy jobs. We break these guys up because we are capitalists. While there's some emotional arguments to break them up, the weaponization of of Facebook by Russia, job destruction, tax avoidance, which are all things we should look at, that ultimately is on us to elect people that hold them accountable and hold them to the same scrutiny we hold other firms. I think the reason we break these guys up is because we're capitalists and would be a more competitive marketplace, more job growth, more venture capital, more innovation. I think it's time to oxygenate the market. If you were to break this company up, distinct of the weaponization of the platforms, distinct of the power, distinct of their inability to prohibit bad actors from uh, weaponizing their platforms. Let's make the shareholder argument. If you look at almost every major breakup, whether it was telcos or the oil companies, several years post the breakup, the combined companies were worth a great deal more than the original companies. I would argue that at the end of the day, they're doing their job. They're for-profit entities, which are a powerful part of a capitalist society. But we also need referees on the field and people who step in and regulate these guys. So the head of the tobacco executives were killing half a million people a year, but they were always going to find reasons to sell more cigarettes and to delay and deflect concerns about the addictive nature of their product. We, had a, we have a proud history of antitrust, and for some reason, we refuse to step in here when these guys become invasive species. So to a certain extent, Stephanie, I think these companies can be expected to, con to continue to do what they do best, and that is make money. We're supposed to step in and regulate them. It is, think about it. We're stepping in on T-Mobile and Sprint's merger because it's going to bring together 130 million phone accounts. Meanwhile, Mark Zuckerberg is planning on connecting 2.7 billion people on one communications platform with Facebook, Messenger, and WhatsApp. But we're worried about T-Mobile and Sprint. It's literally as if we have lost the script around what has become too powerful and a threat to our economy.